Okay, so today we have a very different uh, project that, oh great, now my bottom of my feet are itchy, uh, for you, and I don't plan on doing this because I really don't care to do it, but it looks really good. <laughs> So, maybe I should, especially since I actually do exercise. In fact, I'm going to exercise right after these videos. I want to go for my walk, and of course, you know, just do the bare minimum, you know, lifting weights and whatever. I, did, I already did a little bit of leg stuff, so I've got to do more. Okay, so before I say that, I forgot to mention a comment about congruent. Um, someone said there's a new proposal. What do I think about it? Um, I don't actually know, because I just don't even care to follow it. I just want the congruent to go back up so I can get out of the project. Uh, that being said, I do know that where the hell is gas? In, I do know that gas right now is 3,622, so congruent has actually been going up. Great. It's eventually, I think it'll eventually hit 20 to 34,000, right? So in my case, I can finally get back my original money, maybe at plus 50%, right? And then I'll just cash out because I, I just don't care. Unless the amount of passive income that it... Because I know that they want to do basically what Sphere does, right? Because that's where Sim got the idea from. That's what Sim and I were in charge of, trying to figure out how to, you know, create passive income for a high APY project, all right? So, you know, well, I'll worry about it then, because whatever. So anyway, uh, I'm just going to look at this website. It's already got a lot of good information on here. Uh, now, with, this being, with that being said, I did a little bit of quick research. So basically, this application called VicMove, you, just, you can get it on all of these uh, places. And you can buy a box on the marketplace. Uh, for VicMove. Okay, so we're going to need to take a look at this. Sign up and sign in. Create your account email. Sign in with your email. Connect your account with your rent amount or water wallet address. Click boxes. Choose the one that fit you and meet your needs. Run, run, and fun. Okay, good. So this looks like... I don't know what this... Okay, I'm gonna. I'm just going to link to this thing because it looks like... I don't know. I guess you get rewarded in these... I guess they call their NFTs a box for some reason. That's what I'm guessing. And then, for some reason, they also put the instructions on how to use the application here. So once you download it. This is another reason why I don't want to install this thing, because I don't want to deal with all this shit running all over on my phone and whatever, right? Believe it or not, as, tech, as technological as I am on the computer, I, my actual personal self, I actually lead a very minimal lifestyle, right? Like, I carry my cell phone with me, but the only reason why is because, like, if I'm in trouble... And like I'm about to like get killed or murdered, I want to at least call the cops and like try to record video and then like, you know, try to block the video like my cat my cell phone from like being deleted by the attacker, right? Because you know they're gonna try to delete it, right? Uh, but I mean, yeah. But I mean, it'll be somewhat too late because even he deletes the video, he's like, hey, this guy is dead. He also called the cops. He called Donald 911. And then it's like, hey, what? then they'll talk to the suspect, and then they'll try and figure out, they're going to be entertained, it's like, yeah, oh, you're trying to bullshit us, yeah, I've seen this a million times, alright, you're under arrest, alright, I'm going to charge you with murder, <laughs> or something like that. So, that's the only reason why I carry my cell phone, if it for that, I actually wouldn't carry my cell phone around with me, so, yeah. So anyway, and yeah, plus, it's just so annoying, like... I have family members, and I know some people are, you, you might be like this too, like, you actually have all these, like, 50 million notifications on your phone. Do you know how distracting and annoying that is? Turn that shit off. It's like, there, there's nothing that important that you need to have all that, all right? Because that's what Satan wants to, wants to do to you. He wants to distract you, right? Because the more he distracts you, the more you can't focus on what you're doing now, like living in the moment and being present with God. And that's the exact objective, to prevent you from being with God. Because God only exists in the present, right? So, you know, I haven't really said much about Christianity stuff in a while, but I haven't really needed to, right? So, so, you know, whenever uh, you see your money go down, right? That, that, I mean, that, I mean, that's got part of it, right? Because you're so distracted, then you see crypto go down, and then you freak out, and and then what, right? And then, right? And then you're just gonna lose your shit, right? And, that, and that's not good. Uh, speaking of losing my shit, it's nice to see that, you know, the market manipulators are back at it again, these super predators. 
I seriously cannot wait for us to get back on fucking Twitter. Well, all of you, and then I get, and then hopefully my Twitter account will finally be freaking unlocked for a change. I should actually follow Jack. Actually, I should also follow Jeff Bezos, just so I don't get. Well, I don't have to worry about getting banned anymore. But I do actually respect, you know, on techni technology entrepreneurs, because that's gonna be me someday. If that's really what I want to do. Alright, so let's say Twitter's restoring a little bit of my followers, because I was at 30,500 something. I, I should be at like 100,000, man. It's like, fucking, fucking Twitter. But I'm glad I'm glad I'm going to have my shit back. Uh, I'm really, and then everyone's going to come back, so it's going to be great. So, uh, I haven't watched the Greg Manorino video, so I barely... Okay, so 10-year yield. So actually, bond yields are going down. Oh yeah, because everyone thinks nuclear, nuclear war is not happening. That's obviously bullshit. I mean, the elites really hate us, but, I mean, they can't kill all of us, especially right now, because they need us alive to keep their little scam going. So, if we all die in a nuclear holocaust, how, does, how the fuck does that make sense, all right? You know, the, the, uh, if you ever played the old video game, Deus Ex, the original one from, like, 1997, 1998, it's exactly like Bob Page, right? You know, you just want, oh, hey, there's Kenneth Fisher there. <clears throat> Alright, it's like Bob Page, right? They just want to be like these super eternal immortal god elites things. Like, that's actually a thing. Alright? Just look up. There's a really good video. <clears throat> actually, let me find it now. Uh, Deus X was right. This! Uh, okay, so... There's, there's supposed to be a... I became very interested in this game after hearing that this is the game so yeah that makes me kind of a nerd getting excited that a game is talking about tax rates in 1900 90 percent of americans were self-employed now it's about two percent so it's called consolidation strengthen governments and corporations weaken individuals with taxes this can be done imperceptibly over time i became very interested in this game after hearing that so yeah, that makes me kind of a nerd getting excited that a game is talking about tax rates, but that's because I knew what he was saying was actually true. Now it's a little more complicated than what he says because it was never a pure 50% since there was also payroll tax. But the point is, you bet individuals are paying more taxes than corporations are nowadays. I mean, a better measure is effective tax rate. This isn't the official tax rate, this is the real tax for corporations after all the loopholes. Also, this isn't the year 2052. That could have... Yeah. But anyway, I might actually link to this video, because actually I think a lot of you should read this. There's... Why do you think I actually complain a lot about Super Predators? How Deus Ex blended genres to change shooters forever. War stories, Ars Technica. I mean, that's... My camera's covering it, but... But yeah, this is a really good game. All right, a game like this, Deus Ex, the original one, would never be allowed to be made today because there's just too much censorship. But yeah, cause this this game literally mentions the Council for Foreign Relations or CFR. All right, they even say that the Trilateral Commission. Of course, you got the Illuminati. I'm trying to avoid spoilers. They have the actual conspiracy stuff. All right, and then they even talk about the Rockefellers. All right, and the Rothschilds. Like. This was like the best freaking right wing game ever made. At least I think it's a right wing game. It's really more for like everybody, but this game was originally made by Eidos Interactive, and I always felt they were a little, you know, I always felt they were a right wing company, video game company, uh, and then they eventually got themselves sold off to I forgot who, <clears throat> and then they and Hitman eventually got bought up by Square Enix. Because Square Enix, believe it or not, is also a little bit right wing too, but not that much. So you know, you know that's why Final Fantasy and Square Enix isn't really that woke, all right? Plus they're from Japan too, so you know, wokeness stuff actually doesn't really work too well over there. Uh, so that's because you know that's how Asians are. So anyway. Yeah, I'm actually gonna link to it. So yeah, I know it's like it has nothing to do with this app. That's how much I care about this project <laughs> because I just don't care because <laughs> I even want to play video games. All right. So anyway, uh, let's get let's see. So a certain amount of energy will be given to you daily to improve your income and your health. Uh, comfort. The less comfortable you are, shown through comfort points, the less pieces of Vic Move box you earn. Huh? 
A reward range will be given to you. Lucky points decide how much or how little you get. Stat Every sneaker has an expiration date as shown by stamina points. Yeah, see, see, now this is starting to get complicated. So, again, that's why I don't want to learn any. I don't want to learn how to do this. I, I'll just go out and work for free. I mean, you know, to me, the benefit of exercise is that you get to live longer and you won't be in the hospital. All right, you're less likely to be in the hospital. I think, I think that's worth a lot of money. Especially here in America, because our, you know, hospital bills are, like, re retardedly expensive, and that's because everything's for profit, and you got the big corporations and pharmaceuticals fucking everything up, and, you know, yeah, price gouging, all that stuff. It, it's all manipulated, of course. Leveling up helps you increase the maximum stats of your sneaker, so that's why you gotta get the sneaker. So, wait, uh, so there's an expiration on the... Okay, so that's how they make their money. These things expire, these NFTs. So that makes sense. Infusion, excuse me. Infusioning, you will be able to fusion two sneakers and create a whole new one. That's better. So basically, uh, yeah, you, it's trade up, right? In Counter Strike Global Offensive, you can trade up shitty items for better items, or better items for even better items, and then those really good items become like you know legendary or I forgot what they call it, but like super epic colored stuff. Really, really expensive. All right. Of course, it's designed. For you to lose money over time, so Gabe Newell, the guy who owns and runs Steam, <laughs> uh, and of course founded Valve, right, the original company, and he makes his money. I mean, that's good, but you know, Gabe Newell has always been really a really solid guy. Like he's a very like open-minded, free speech guy. It's like yeah, just put whatever as long as it's not like considered illegal, like like terrorism shit. Because the only game that I think he's ever banned was I don't even want to say it, but. The R word story, and it's a game where you literally just R word women, right? Like that's literally all the game is, and like Steam has never approved that for obvious reasons. So uh, yeah, Vic move roadmap. Uh, okay, so okay, anti cheat with GPS support, blah 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 blah. Yeah, you can look at this if you really care to. I don't really care because I don't want to do this. There's a quest system decentralized DAO. Oh, okay. Yeah, take your first steps with Vic Move. Uh, register, buy, purchase your box via BSC, Ethereum, and Polygon using our cross chain function. Uh, you can earn Vic Move box pieces or Vim in every step that you make, fit and fun at the same time. I don't know how, I still don't know how they make their money, and then this is actually their real team. <clears throat> right? It's coded by Asian people. Now, one of them is named. Uh, yeah, these are Vietnamese names, right? But whatever, they're Asians, close enough, right? So they're obviously very smart. They know how to code. That's why I have no problem investing in Asian people. Yeah, Tony Tron, that's uh, that's uh, Vietnamese usually. <clears throat> so Very smart. They know how to code. They know. They obviously know what they're doing. And of course, they're already on the App Store, which is freaking annoying to code because there's always like. Because remember, I used to make a video game, right? And then I stopped, right? So I put my game, it's Additionist Tower Defense. It's still on Google Play, but I don't really care about it anymore. And then you got the App iStore. I still, I couldn't actually get it in because I kept running all these like, you know, iStore. Yeah, that's what it's called. The iStore. Like, hey, we got a problem here. Fix this. I got a problem here. It's like I just gave. I was like, you know what? Fuck this. Just take my money and. Just Good, I quit. So they know how to code, okay? I can tell you from personal first-hand experience. There it is. It'll pop up. I can tell you from personal experience, you know, yeah, it's pretty hard to code. So these guys know what they're doing. And obviously, you can't just throw any app on the stores, right? They obviously have to check your shit out. So you obviously have to know coding. And you have to be a real person. And you have to, like, nowadays on Google at least, and maybe... I didn't get asked this on iStore. Maybe I did, but you have to also submit some form of like minimum identity stuff. Now, I didn't have to submit photo ID, but I'd have to, I did have to give Google and Apple, obviously, personal data. So, you know. So basically, you're not anonymous, basically, in some form. Uh, okay, how do I get started? All right, I don't know. You can read this if you want. I don't really care. Uh, where can I download this thing? Google Play Store and Apple iStore. <clears throat> oh, this thing gets cut off here. How does the move to learn to see gameplay guy? Yeah, I don't really care. How do I know what sneaker goes with what? 
Where can I interact with me? Either with Discord, what's so special about Vic Move? I must be feeling the majority of us are blah blah blah. Yeah, okay, whatever. Have a look at the inside. What? Why does everything look so off? Oh, I guess that's. Oh, okay. Yeah, so this, this is a really nice. See, they know how to code. This is a really good project. Like, even if you don't want to do this, you could theoretically just play this. Uh... Oh, I should have done that before. <clears throat> you could just play the project because when it launched, it was really cheap, and then now it's worth like a shit ton of money. So you could do that. All right. Me, again, personally, um, I don't really care. I feel it's already too late, but, you know. If you want to act, if you want a capital gains play or flip, this could be a really good project because you know this is legit. The camera's covering it, but the market cap on this liquidity pool is already $13 million. And obviously, they're, they're already been out. Oh, you can't see anything. Whoops. Uh, you can't. Uh, this has been out since April 20th. So tomorrow will be one week. But yeah, it looks pretty good. And of course, you could see the profit taking already happening. So maybe you want to wait a little bit if you're planning to buy this and wait for the correction. Because it's already in the middle of correcting now. Good, look, it started down here and it goes straight up and you can see all these thin lines here. What does that mean? Yeah, this thing is going to crash because there's just too much profit being made. So I'm just going to wait. Anyway, check out Vic Move. That's It's a uh, kind of weird name, but whatever. Who cares? Uh, you can check out the other stuff if you care to, but this was recommended in the Elite Discord by Halogenics, and we literally have no other projects today. Like, I mean, I think someone mentioned uh, I should cover Helena. Like, I honestly just don't know why I want to cover any more Titanoforks, because I know they're all going to be shit. So, you know, because again, I was kind of upset when I looked at Kaimi Protocol, like just how lazy it was. All right, and actually, some asshole downloaded the video because. You know, he's probably a, I can't say the word, right? He's, but he's that word from a certain country or region, and he's just like, oh, and he's like, can you just not invest in any fucking scams, you dumbass, right? It's like, you know, it's, it's just so frustrating. It's like, some people actually want me to lie so that they can use you and me as exit liquidity. I fucking hate people like that. Like, you don't, des like, people like that don't deserve to get rich, right? Why do you think there's so many scams out there? All right. As far as I know, I'm the only guy that do does this shit for free and like calls it as it is, right? With like, you know, and yeah, I should be a higher subscriber count on YouTube, but the the reason why I'm not is because I tell you the truth. So that means, what does that mean? What does that actually mean, right? It means that you're pro like a lot of people are invested in these scam projects. I call it out. People start exiting. They lose money. So that's really what it is. It's it's ultimately good versus evil, right? Satan is retaliating against me by, you know, keeping my channel down, right? Or he's not getting as many subscribers as I should, so. But that's okay. Also, this week is slow. Uh, maybe next week will be slow because of the Federal Reserve shit. Everyone seems to be scared of something, probably nuclear war. It's not going to happen. It's just, yeah, it's just a nerd at the office. But anyway, check out Vic Move if you're interested. Um, I I don't know. I don't feel like figuring anything out, and I don't want to add any more shit to my phone. So, uh, other than that, you could try playing the capital gains on this, right? Hold it for whatever. I'm not going to do that. Uh, and of course, I'll link to this Deus Ex video. You actually should watch this. This is highly relevant to what we do today. All right, this video game was made on the original Unreal Engine 1, right? 1998 or 1997. Really long time ago. Back then, this game was like literally like the freaking great. Like after Doom and Wolfenstein, many years later, this game came out. Right? And this, I played this game. I don't know how many hundreds of hours I have on this game. And you can probably get it on Steam too, because you know there's a Deus Ex complete package or something which I have. <clears throat> and it's actually got really good music too. Like the, I actually still listen to the soundtrack to this game occasionally too. It's it, this was just a, this was this was back when games and movies were actually made as works of fucking art, all right. And that's what I hope will uh, return once we get back Twitter, all right. Now that Elon Musk basically owns Twitter now, so barring some kind of catastrophe, which I'm sure they're planning to do, but I don't think they can do it because they have their hands full with the Russia Ukraine situation, people getting pissed off still, money is becoming a problem for people now, right, because of hyperinflation. So, you know, global H words got like, they're just, 
they're basically overextended, way overextended, and that's good for you and me. So hopefully, you know, you know, well, whatever, great. Looks like we're gonna be below 39k Bitcoin again, and of course, crypto overall, jeez, AVAX is already down to 69. <clears throat> Maybe I should convert all of my crypto into stable coins. Yeah, whatever. I guess I don't really care. Okay, so. I will hopefully see you all tomorrow, but again, we don't have any new projects and a lot of things aren't even launching. So I don't know. I'll just see you whenever, hopefully tomorrow. So we'll see if Renzo or Murdoch DeFi comes out with a video, even if it's like a scam project, of course I'll still cover it because well, the big YouTuber is covering it, then I might as well cover it. And then I'll give my opinion on it, of course. Um, I don't know. Maybe uh, crypto will change his mind. I'll have a video, but whatever. Hey, oh, that's fine. Less work for me. More time to do whatever I want. Plus, I don't want to just keep playing cross out. Right? I'm obsessed with this stupid game that I have a love hate relationship with. Because I'm trying to beat the system. I'm trying to beat the matchmaking system that is already rigged against me. Right? That, I mean, I guess that's part of the game. Like, how, can I beat the AI? Like the true AI, the algorithms. You know. All right, anyway, I'm just going to leave the thumbnail as whatever YouTube is going to pick. So like, subscribe, share this video around. Uh, thank you again to all the new people and really the old returning people too. And um, I don't know. Uh, have a good day, I guess. And man, man, I didn't really, in fact, it's down that much. Shit. I might have to actually convert this into... Hmm. Because I'm actually losing money just holding the base tokens because of all my minor projects. So maybe it would actually be a smart idea to... Uh, what is actually going on in the markets? <clears throat> hmm. Crude oil is a little up. Dollar index. I mean, the problem is it's a fear trade, so... I'll make a decision after I watch Greg Manorino's video tonight, but I mean, the, problem, the only reason why I'm wor uh, I have to think about this is because it's almost the end of April, so I need to sell some crypto for paying rent, uh, and, and obviously I'm going to get a lot less money in like a week, because I can't wait until May 4th, that's just too close to the thing. But on the other hand, I mean, if crypto goes down a lot, I'm going to get a lot less money for my crypto, so stable coins might be better yeah anyway whatever see you all tomorrow hopefully or the next time that some kind of content comes out so i don't know when that is this is gonna be a slow it's gonna be a slow week between now and next week though hey i could use the rest i mean renzo hasn't even posted a new video in like what almost a week now anyway so all right see you tomorrow hopefully or the next video